Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Once again, we are here again in Freya's garden. And we did make an interesting revelation in the last episode that old Aena of uh, Yavik, La Yavik, Lavik, uh, did actually lie to us about Morkvag in the sense that um, Morkvag, well, in the sense that Aenar was actually with Morkvag. He was aligned with Morkvag at one point. Um, in the yeah. sense that he helped Morkvag and, and his gang. He was in the gang with Morkvag that raided um, Freya's right. garden and took all the, all the jewellery, the loot, everything, and killed Freya's uh, priestesses. Einar did forfeit his share of the takings, but he still committed the deed. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting conversation I think we're going to have with Einar, because he was not all that forthcoming with us, clearly, when we first questioned him about Morvag's, uh, Morvag's curse. But we're going to try now and get just just a few more answers out of him, I think, because I, th I think we're owed that. I think we're definitely owed that. So, Anna, you lied to me. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. <laughs> we don't need to fight. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morgvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Our son should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. I couldn't care less what you think. Might surprise you, but I couldn't care less what a lying murderer has to say. Compared to Morkvark, I'm a plowing saint. Doesn't mean you're a good person, though. I read it often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Oh. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop pop mentioned how to reverse this. Victim needs to get the fang is all, but I'll not give it to you. That whore son should suffer. Do it for the priestesses. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morkvog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. Oh. Remember that. So use the fang to lift Mark Fag's curse or find another way to lift it. <sighs> right. So Mark Fag needs to have the fang to be able to use said fang to lift his curse. But what other way could there be to lift it? Like, we obviously have the option to feed Markvag something. But what could we feed him that would 
lift the curse. If anything, I don't know if it's even a possibility to actually feed him, feed him anything. But but it's got it's got it's got to be something has to, has has to be appropriate, right, for it. Otherwise, in theory, the option to feed him wouldn't even be there. Like. Like, that's my logic, anyway. It could be completely rubbish logic. It probably is. But I just don't know what I could try and feed him. I've tried to feed a bunch of different things, like meat, fruit, grains, a bunch of stuff like that. Nothing nothing worked. It all just turned to ash, apparently. So... Yeah. Not too sure exactly what the plan of action here is now. So we need to get back there, don't we? So I think we actually do need to drop down here. I think. I think this is the right way. Yeah, because this is this is the way to his uh, back to his lair, assuming he's respawned by now. Assuming that's Mark right back in there, so we'll take our uh, our sword out and prepare ourselves. There he is. There's the man himself. Come on, Mark Bag, what you got? Not a lot, apparently. Right, so that's Mark Fag down. Do we just hand him the fang? Because it says it says that we can find another way, but I just do not know what other way there could be. Yeah, okay, here's your fang. Here, put this on. I need uh, no more fangs. Don't be a smartass, just do it. Oh, my lord, it worked. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I can eat a broiled pig. No, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad, everywhere. Ha! <laughs> I'm back! I don't think you are. Can't let you do that. Sorry, can't let that happen. Then why'd you bloody free me? To kill you, once and for all. Ah! What? One last dance, Markvog. Goodbye. There we go. Done and dusted, and a level up to and a level up to go with it as well. Eighty-five experience, nice, happy days. Pretty good. I didn't even realize that there was a back entrance to his um to his lair either. Nice. Wait, that's not the back entrance. That's the front entrance. Ignore. Wait, is it? Yes. I'm just being a pillock. Right, so Garrett tracked down one of Mark Fag's former companions who lied, who lived in Larvik. His, his draw dropped to learn this man, and not, as was commonly thought, for his high priestess to cast the curse on the infamous Pyrus. The man also possessed an object he claimed could lift the curse. Garrett took it from him and used it to return Mark Fag to human form, thus rendering him mortal. Garrett, Garrett then struck an expert blow to hasten the, ine the inevitable end of this condition implied. Clearly, he felt that years of insatiable hunger were not punishment enough for this man's many sins. I mean, he clearly didn't atone or anything else like that. You know, he was he was ready to just go back to his old ways and pillage and kill and raid. He learned nothing. So, for me, he yeah, for me he deserved it. Is all is all I'll say. 
Wish you could fucking open, 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 open that lock. How do we get back up there again? Can we climb up here? Yes, I think so. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, I, I feel like I made the right decision there. Like, I, I was a bit wishy-washy about whether using the fang would be the correct way to break the curse, but ultimately, if this is going to get Freya's garden back, back to the uh, to, back to her priestesses, Run, and that means more fire's gone for good, then I think we can all rest, and rest, rest that little bit easier. I I'm, I'm certainly don't think that Aenar deserves complete complete um, freedom, you know, because he evidently... I mean... Yes, he yes he felt remorse for killing the priestesses, but he hasn't he didn't feel remorse for killing anybody else. Like he literally said he killed women and children. So Yeah. Either way, let's let's go and get our reward and hopefully be done with this quest. Yes, one more you who grant us love the hatred and but strength. you're yet too weak to embark on a journey. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. Oh, it's these guys. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Olva cast the curse. It bound no, she didn't. to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvard decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Right, I'm not going to get the reward yet. I want to. I want to speak to the rest of them if they're still here. Kirisu. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You don't seem like a priestess. You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly. Hmm. You've got a good eye, though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship. Was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dala found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I have a brother in Ord Skellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a longship and head home. Good plan, good plan. Right, farewell, so all the best. Hatred and strength. And Why does the goddess bring alchemist myself here? Seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her, and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you? It's need? the most vague description I think I've ever heard. Okay, tell me about this temple. Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats. Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. The white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not. Or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? I've got a few powerful friends, I won't lie, Mind but... Yeah. Any nice... Nah. 
Oh, beliefs of Skellig are free. I'll, I'll, I'll give that a read. Can I sell anything else off? I can sell the majority of these if they're gonna, yeah, if they're gonna make me any, um, any money. I'm not gonna read the majority of them anyway, so. That'll do for now. Uh, right. Fair. Uh, where was that book? Where was that book? Yeah. As is true of most realms, the predominant region in the Skellig Isles has its roots in the prehistoric cult of the Great Mother, Mother Nature. On the continent, such worship is taken as its object and namesake, Melatele. In Skellige, her counterpart is Freya. Like Melatele, Freya is represented in three aspects, virgin, mother, and old crone. That of mother is most common, and sculptors choose to depict her thus in her great sanctuary in the Isles. There she stands, a pregnant woman draped in loose robes, her face partially revealed, her head bent and her hands folded across her breast. A gold necklace hangs around her neck, and on it a large, pure diamond, called Brisson Gaiman, shines, shines like a clear summer sky. Freja Modron, or Freya the Great Mother, is the goddess of fertility, love, beauty, and abundance. She's also the patient of oracles, soothsayers, and telepaths. Warriors pray to her before setting out on sea raids, and the wives they leave behind pray to her for their husband's safe return. Only priestesses serve, serve the goddess. Men, men may worship Freya, but only women may do her work. Freya's priestesses, like the clerics of other cults, treat mages and sorceresses with great reserve. The center of Freya's worship is her temple in the Isle of Hindusfjall in the hallowed grove called Hindar. Worshippers place offerings to the goddess before a statue on an altar that incorporates a great stone basin surrounded by figurines of cats and falcons, her sacred animals. In addition to this temple, sprinkled throughout the Isles are other smaller places where one can worship the goddess and make offerings to her. I've seen quite a few of those, indeed. Right, Josta. Greetings. Morkvarg. Morkvarg. Give my reward. my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg has gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. That's fine. Can I, like, you who grant us love to experience? And Oof, okay. Press, press updated in Wolf's clothing. Nice, nice, nice. That. Greetings. Morkvarg. That never, that never said the quest was completed, unless I am being a bit stupid. I'm guessing it has come up as completed, though. Yeah, it looks like it's been completed. Oh, well. Yeah. Right, so... I think we need to do these, um... We need to do these... Uh, quest quest with uh, Crack's children. So one is the Lord of Unvik and one is Possession. Let's do... Let's see where they are. Unvik is obviously going to be on Unvik. So I can ask around the Newport Inn about Unvik and the Ice Giant. Where is that? Is that sending me to Care Troll, though? Yeah, ask around the Newport Inn about Unvik and the Ice Giant. So I can ask around there... And then I can go from there towards Unvik here. It's the Marlin Coast. There's, there's, there's a few little settlements on Unvik by the looks of it. Nothing too major, but... Okay, is there nowhere I can, I can clear Skjall's name, by the way? I thought I thought I would, I would have been able to speak to these... Speak to these people here, but apparently not. I really want to clear. I really want to be, be able to clear Skjall's name, but I am apparently unable. Um, so I think the best thing that we can do, um, probably. Uh, where's the other quest actually? Possession. Udalric. Udalric is all the way over up in. Oh god, he's a mile away. Ah no, he's he's on he's on this this island here. I also have one for Lambert, don't I? This the one, yeah, and that is... and Pharaoh is the one to the south. Why... why is there a quest marker there? Can 
Can I please remove the fast travel marker so I can see what the goddamn... <laughs> oh, is it taking me there because I can use that to fast travel to here, to Harvikin? I'm, I'm guessing that's probably the reason. So that's Pharaoh there, that's Unvik. So we are going to all of these islands here for reasons. The only one that we don't seem to be being directed to is this one, or Allah Harbour. Uh, let's let's do this one first then. Let's let's go and try and find Hammond first, shall we? I think that's that's only right. We'll uh, change that to all. Um. Should we, should we go for a go for a sail on the open seas? Maybe if we go to the office and cemetery, maybe I think yeah. If we go if we go the if we go to the no no if, if we go to Frey's Garden, we'll fast travel to to, to to a port on the south end of the island, and then we'll um... and then we'll um... oh unless the supervisor is in. Back in, uh... there's a supervisor back in Novigrad. Doesn't actually look like it. I'm very confused right now. I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's just let's just get back down to the, to the south end of and we'll take a boat over there. I feel like that's probably the best thing we can uh, we can really do now. Before we do that, let's actually level up. Uh, still can't actually upgrade our um, any of our like we can't, we can't put a new skill in or get any mutagen, sadly. But right, we'll use the fast travel point here to go to if we go to the Lofton Cemetery and we'll use one of these boats there. I think because that that's where we arrived on the, on this island to begin with, so it's probably only the right thing to do. So we'll focus on going to Pharaoh and looking for Hammond. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll end the episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Next episode, we'll set on our journey off to Pharaoh and try and find this Hammond character to try and give Lambert a hand. So thank you very much for watching, guys, once again. And I'll catch you in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.